everybody. <laughs> I was trying to did it start? Okay. Sorry. It is the last day of July, July 31st. And I think I told you yesterday how every time my ice maker clinks down, I'm like, praise God. Thank you, God, because I'm relying on the ice because that's what I need for my water. If I'm going to lose weight, if I'm not going to drink other things, blah, blah, blah. So we talked about that. Funny thing about my ice maker, still working, but <laughs> the comparison I'm making to my ice maker is like manna from heaven. And the reason is my ice maker just, it won't fill up the tray. And see, I feel very comfortable when my tray of ice is full and it just won't get full. It's like, even all night, it doesn't fill, fill up. I swear it just waits for me to be there and it like won't drop until I'm actually in the kitchen or in the vicinity where I can hear it. And so I'll fill up my container of my, my cup of ice or whatever to get my water. And I swear this, like, cause I, and I'll look and I'm like, how full is it? And I'm like, oh, there's still only a few left. Well, I had what I needed. And so the next time I, during the day, I go to fill up my ice. I look, okay, that's just about what I needed. And, and so I'm like, man, it's, it's like, is God's really making, making, I don't know if making is a good word, giving me a way to rely on him because I rely on that ice. And so I'm feeling a little bit like that, like, oh my gosh, and I got to do this and it's okay. And then in my reading for the evening, he gave me a little perspective. He goes, you're relying on ice. Here's how I made Paul rely on me. And so I'm in second Corinthians six, four, about half of seven it says, but as servants of God, we've commended ourselves in every way, but by great endurance in afflictions, hardships, calamities, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labors, sleepless nights, hunger by purity, knowledge, patience, kindness in the Holy Spirit, genuine love by truthful speech and the power of God. Yeah, especially the first part of that list. I think I'll just wait for my ice. You know, all the things that they had to go through and God could prove to them that he was powerful and that that's what was leading them. And I'm just waiting on ice. <laughs> so I'm thankful still for my ice. And I'm thankful that I don't have those calamities. And interesting, a lot of those things are happening in the world, but I still seem fairly free of them. And that may not always be true. It could just be the blink of an eye and everything on that list could hit me. It really could. And I pray it doesn't, but God tells us that this happens. You know, everything's not peaches and roses once you accept Jesus. No, you have to undergo calamities and beatings and imprisonment and things like that in his name. So, but all that reveals the power of God. So I'll take my ice just one cup at a time. At a time. I don't need my ice cup full or my, my ice bucket full. It's the way I like it. But you know what? If I have to rely on God, I will rely on God for my ice. And uh, that's what I'm going to do.